In 2008, a health insurance company, FBTO, started handing out these Boquito viewers at the Rotterdam Zoo in the Netherlands. Notice how the eye gaze is pointed up and to the right. You could wear this and still see out the holes, sort of like those glasses they hand out for solar eclipses. Do you know why these were suddenly being handed out? Stick around to the end of this video and I'll tell you all about it. I'm Eric Vanman, a social neuroscientist at the University of Queensland in Australia. And on this channel, we explore the fascinating worlds of psychology and neuroscience. Today, we're diving deep into the impact of eye contact and how it's shaping the future of AR, VR technology with Apple's upcoming headset, the Apple Vision. Get ready to discover the fascinating language of the eyes. Did you know that eye contact is not just a casual glance? It's an integral part of human communication, showing interest, forging connections, and conveying emotions beyond words. And now Apple is taking eye contact to a whole new level with their innovative headset, the Apple Vision. What sets Apple Vision apart from other headsets? Well, imagine this. While you wear the Apple Vision, your eyes are projected onto the front of the goggles for others to see, even when hidden behind the headset. It's an impressive technological feat, recreating the intimate experience of eye contact in a virtual setting. But why did Apple choose to prioritize this feature? The answer lies deep within our own human nature and psychology. Eye contact has been studied extensively for its role in social cognition, the understanding and reactions to social situations. Our ability to read eye gaze is like a superpower, revealing intentions, emotions, and much more. Apple recognized this and decided to incorporate this crucial aspect into their vision headset, making it more immersive and true to our human experience. Before we embark on this eye-opening journey, have you ever noticed that YouTube creators don't wear sunglasses when they're talking to the camera? Nor do news presenters, TV hosts, and other talking heads who are on cameras all the time with all sorts of lights shining on their face. And you would think that sunglasses might be more comfortable for them. Hey, don't you like me wearing these sunglasses right now? Oh, you don't? Well, let me take them off then. There, that's better. Our brains are hardwired to seek out eyes. It's like a perpetual game of eye spy with eyeballs. And there's a wealth of science behind it. Research has shown that our ability to read eye gaze plays a pivotal role in social cognition. The eyes are not just mirrors of the soul, they're like billboards advertising our intentions, emotions, and more. For instance, when someone's eyes widen, you don't need to be Sherlock Holmes to guess they're surprised or scared. Perhaps they've seen a ghost or their ex. Boo! It's not just about reading emotions. Gaze direction can influence our perception too. Imagine walking down the street and seeing a group of people up ahead looking up into the sky. What would you do? Wait for it. Yes, you'd look up too. No, we're not programmed robots. It's our good old social cognition at work. In neuroscience, we've gained a deep understanding of how the brain processes eye contact. Several brain areas come into play, each with its role in deciphering the captivating language of the eyes. But it's the superior temporal sulcus, the STS, that plays a key role in processing dynamic social signals such as gaze shifts and facial expressions. Eye contact even has a remarkable effect on our brains and bodies. It triggers a phenomenon called gaze perception, making us feel watched and engaging our autonomic nervous system. This in turn becomes a powerful tool for empathy. Studies using fMRI have revealed that direct eye contact activates the social neural network, including the medial prefrontal cortex, the precuneus, the SDS, and the temporal parietal junction, uh, regions all associated with social understanding and empathy. Ever felt like the eyes and portraits follow you around the room? like those creepy paintings and horror movies? Don't worry, it's not a ghost. It's just your brain playing tricks on you. Regardless of the viewing angle, you perceive the gaze as directed at you. So when you feel watched by the Mona Lisa, it's just Leonardo's mischievous artistry. And eye contact isn't only found in art. Businesses harness its power too. 
Ever noticed how cereal boxes at the supermarket have mascots looking directly at you, making you feel a tad guilty for not buying them? Well, studies have shown that even eye contact from a cereal mascot can influence purchasing decisions. <laughs> See, it's not just poets and scientists. Marketers are equally obsessed with our eyes. And what about those funky glasses the Dutch health insurance company gave out at the Rotterdam Zoo? Have you figured out why they might do that? Well, it all comes down to an extraordinary incident involving a 12-year-old gorilla named Bokito and a woman who believed they shared a special connection. You see, most primates, including us humans, don't appreciate being stared at. Imagine being a chimp or a gorilla at a zoo with people constantly peering into your world. It can feel intrusive and threatening. In fact, many zoos even put up signs advising against direct eye contact with these animals. But at the Rotterdam Zoo, there was a woman who defied those warnings. She would visit Bokito's enclosure up to four times a week, trying to lock eyes with the gorilla because she believed they had a unique bond. Then, on a fateful day in 2007, everything changed. Bokito, already aggravated by children tormenting him, took matters into his own hands, or rather his own paws, and leaped an astonishing three and a half meters across a moat and an electric fence with 7,000 volts coursing through it. The woman, who thought she shared an unbreakable bond with Bokito, found herself in the grip of the mighty gorilla. Bokito dragged her 45 meters, leaving her with over 100 bite marks and several fractures. It was a terrifying hour-long ordeal. He eventually made his way over to a cafeteria across the terrace and injured three more people there. Eventually, zookeepers managed to tranquilize Bokito, ending the chaos. But the story doesn't end there. Weeks later, something surprising happened. In an effort to allow visitors to glimpse into the gorilla enclosure without intimidating the animals, the Dutch health insurance company released a unique solution. The Bokito glasses. Bokito, after his escape, returned to a more typical gorilla lifestyle. And believe it or not, he went on to father 10 offspring. Sadly, at the age of 27, Bokito passed away earlier this year, leaving behind a remarkable legacy. So next time you lock eyes with someone across a room, remember there's a whole world of social cognition going on there. You are not just exchanging glances. You're communicating a language as old as humanity itself. And this is why I think Apple has decided to invest so much in having eyes on the outside of their new Apple Vision goggles. So that's it for today's deep dive into the world of gaze perception. I hope you've enjoyed this journey. Remember, like, share, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, so you won't miss any of our future exciting psychology topics. Until next time, stay curious. Bye.